Hey guys, Boston, Massachusetts is checking in. How y'all doing? Anyways, so I'm at the Newton Public Library. And I was on Facebook today. OMG, so I found out that Bishop Bullwinkle from that made the song um Hail to the No 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 that song oh my gosh he passed he was 70 years old and you know him and um Pokey Big Pokey Beard did a song too so my condolences go out to you know Bishop Bo Winkle's family I know it's a little late but that's what happens when you fall back from social media. You know, the different media sites, they just, you know... Uh, what's the word I want to use, guys? It's not promotion, but they talk about um, different things. So that was on Facebook. It is a little late. I'm coming with the news a little late. But, oh my gosh, can y'all believe it? Hell to the no, no, no. Bishop Bullwinkle, he got so many millions of views, guys. I was like, I don't even think they was trying. But his song was, hell no, to the no, no, no. If y'all don't know that song, y'all can check it out. It's on Vivo, you know. And also, guys, I was, you know, going through the library, and I seen this book that I'm about to um, go through. I just checked it out. So it's basically called Pictures with Purpose. And um, let me see if y'all could see this book. Oh, sorry guys, I'm doing a poor, uh, poor um, pen. But this is a book of you know colored people, Hebrew Israelites. And it's basically showing, you know, our early transition from, I guess, slavery over here. And I'm still trying to figure out what the hell happened. Because as I look at some of these pictures, I'm totally amazed how established these people were during the first, you know, the early 1900s, basically. So the first century. And I'm very excited. I'm pretty certain that... I will be ph photographing some pictures of this book, but you know, it's called Pictures with Purpose, and it's an early photograph from the National Museum of African, of Hebrew Israelite history and culture. So, you know, African American, Negroes, and Coloreds. That's a byword. So we want to get away from that because we're not African Americans, we're not colored, we're not Negroes, we're not niggas. What we are are Hebrew Israelites. And that's why it's good to, you know, get your history and know who you are. And basically from um, that channel, Adam Abbott will explain. You understand? So you wonder why we can't, you know, why we don't have our history, why we can't locate our history. So the only one who's really telling you about who you are in your history is the Hebrew Israelites in the scriptures. So it's up to you to, you know, accept the information that you receive or not. But I believe that I am a Hebrew Israelite, you know, from the tribe of Judah, you know, a daughter of Zion. You understand? Yes, I'm a princess, man. Don't play for real, for real. And this book is showing me, like, wow, this information could be actually true. Like, I do believe it. But I'm like, what happened to us? What happened to us? Like, the decline, our dress code. Like, we were really established. We dressed with morals. And we had so much respect in the beginning of the first century that now everyone else seems to be dressed up when they're really tuh, you know what I'm saying it's always backwards guys that's what I'm saying it's always backwards so you need not fear nor be jealous 
of any other woman walking upon this race, this this earth because I believe that you are chosen. I believe that I am chosen. And you know, I let God figure the whole thing out. You understand what I'm saying? And um I just believe that. I'm excited to really get this book, my hands on this book. It gives me hope. And I'm excited to listen to Adam Abbott because you know it's explaining to me my history which I don't want to believe everyone else what they say about us because I know that they're lying and it probably will lead to the same old BS you understand that traces us back to Africa but no we're not African and I believe that because I would be eating cuckoos I don't know what that is but I will be eating African food if I was African but I don't and I really have I really have African friends you understand and I don't I don't have a connection with them so I cannot be African but when it comes to the Hebrew Israelites man or woman I have a connection with them because you know I love my black well my Hebrew Israelite bros you understand and um I'm just excited like this is the missing link this is the missing link you understand and I love it and I'm about to view this book in you know what it's called pictures with purpose okay and I will keep y'all updated and that's it guys y'all have a great day and that's it bye